I had gone to so many doctors before in the past, always with the same thing. You can't put every overweight person in a category and say that all you do is eat junk food and lay on the couch. That's not reality. 1,500 calorie diet, working out six times a week, doing two a day. I played three sports in high school, so I was very active. I'm trying to lose weight. Why can't I lose weight? I'm going to the gym working out and they say you have to be mobile and you have to work out. This is not working. I had client after client that was coming in and had been diagnosed with PCOS. I may get a period for one month and then like the next couple, like two months in a row, I was without a period. Uh, back then I was starting to get more skin tags. I had acne really bad acne growing up, and I tried everything to get rid of my acne. What took me to the doctor was that struggle. Like, what is what is wrong? Of course, it was something at that time that I wasn't very knowledgeable about. Never heard of it. Never knew anything about the symptoms, never knew what to look for. PCOS has made it difficult to just be a woman. Like, you want to talk about how PCOS can affect you mentally and how frustrated you can get by your own intentional efforts not working. It's hard to hit a brick wall over and over again and say like, I'm gonna try and run through it again this time. Women with PCOS, that progress happens so much slower. And it's, it's frustrating to watch. But that's always the problem. Because if they don't see the results, they don't think you're doing anything. There has to be something. There has to be more out there. It's good for you to know. You can't fix anything you don't know. You have to take your health in your hands. I love to talk with my patients about this just because we can make changes and th these can be lifelong changes. Okay, so what are we gonna do now to fix it?